Hello everyone, in today's video I will review the best Saracen Ariel 50E Elite review. Well specs, descent ready a bike equipped with Shimano's EP8 motor, its single pivot linkage driven rear suspension brings 150mm of rear wheel travel and is damped by Fox's heavy hitting DHX2 rear shock and paired with a 160mm Travelys Fox 36 front fork. It has a Shimano 12-speed XT drivetrain with a four-piston brake, Saracen Ariel 50E Elite frame and suspension. The Ariel looks clean and light. It's built to the Ariel series and it looks sharp. The straight tubes do help it look sleek. The factory has two sizes on their range of wheels. The frames have 29 in front and 27, 5 in rear wheels. Suspension Kymatics. Sarsen's signature TRL suspension layout uses a single pivot design with a linkage to drive the shock. It has a coil spring rate of progression that increases in a linear way through its travel. At a certain ride, about 30% of the travel is anti-squat. The bike should resist suspension compression, which is known as Bob, Saracen Ariel 50E Elite battery, and motor. It's powered by a Shimano EP8 and 504WH battery, the smallest in this year's Bike of the Year test. The Ariel 50 Elite is fitted with Shimano's F8 motor with a 250W power capacity. The motor has three riding modes, Eco, Trail, and Boost. The modes can be adjusted by the rider through the Shimano eTube software application, which is connected via Bluetooth. Saracen Ariel 50E Elite Geometry Bottom bracket height sits at 343mm, which is low for a 29 in wheeled bike. The geometry of the geometry is modern on paper. When I was a bike size, it had the longest reach figure amongst all of the bikes on test. The bike's other characteristics match those of the size large. Sir, the 50E Elite uses good quality parts from the factory. The forks are top spec. They have the good dampers Fox, and the drivetrain and brakes are good ones. The wheels are from a race bike. Also, the bike has 150 millimeters of travel. We had to replace the rear EXO casing tire with a double down version after ripping its carcass beyond repair. The dual compound EXO casing tires seem weird, but it is not intended to be used as an e-bike which is why the two-piece design isn't as sticky. It is designed to be heavy enough and cost-effective. Saracen Ariel 50E Elite Ride Impressions The Ariel has been tested in the UK, Germany, France, the US, Spain, and Sweden. The tests were done in wet, dry, and dry conditions. We know about the UK's weather reports and it was tested in the UK. Saracen Ariel 50E Elite Setup Thanks to the 38 fork and Fox DHX2 shock, the 50E Elite went very easily. I inflated the fork spring to 98 psi, mounted three volume reducer spacers, and adjusted the compression and rebound adjusters to the maximum. With no eye spec mounts, juggling control locations was a bit tricky. I inflated the tires with a higher pressure than I would. This made the tires stiffer and more resistant to pinch flat punctures. Shimano's XT drivetrain is a reliable performer. The tough tires that dug into soft mud on hard surface. However, they struggled on loose ground or around roots and rocks. This happens when the car consumes too much energy trying to get traction. As for the riding performance, it's quite stable and it's also easy to balance, but it's quite heavy because you need to shift back your weight to keep the front wheel lifted. You need to be quite strict. The KS Lev Post had plenty of travel. Andy Lloyd, our media. Despite the huge amount of bikes around me, my weight was distributed evenly over my wheels, helping to reduce fatigue. I had to do less work to keep pros, well specced, easy to set up, great for blasting around trail centers. Cons, out of its depth on steep, technical trails, small battery capacity, frustrating, lightweight tires. 